that. That's not me. I don't have that. Okay. I, I'm, the, I'm the same way. I'm like, no, that's not me. Okay. Think about it. Where is it in your life if you keep on getting these nasal infections, throat infections, and you're taking a buttload of vitamins like this girl and drinking this vitamin C mixture like me and sleeping like 12 hours to 15 hours and, you know, this, there's a problem metaphysically. So we have to make the connection and stop fighting against it and just say, where is it in my life that there's a lack of joy flowing through my life, okay? An irritation or anger, annoyance, something you're annoyed at, you're irritated by, but you're not, you're too afraid to tell them or tell, maybe it's yourself. There's some kind of annoyance in your life that you're looking at, but you're burying it. So what happens is it comes out with makes your th throat scratchy it makes you have a nasal backup it makes you have a tightening of the chest or, or a problem in the chest area okay so an irritation anger or annoyance here's the metaphysical affirmation to say I choose to be peaceful and harmonious not easy I choose to be peaceful and harmonious. I choose to be peaceful and harmonious. I choose to be peaceful and harmonious. I lovingly allow joy to flow freely in my life. I lovingly allow joy to flow freely in my life. I lovingly allow joy, pleasure, joy to flow freely in my life. I love me. I love me. I love me. I choose to be peaceful, namaste, and harmonious. I lovingly allow joy to flow freely in my life. I love me. I lovingly allow joy to flow freely in my life. I love me. Hold up. Okay, for colds, upper respiratory illness, too, what it means is too much going on at once, mental confusion, disorder, small hurts that you're not dealing with. Uh, someone hurt your feelings, or you just somebody in your family hurt your feelings, or an old friend hurt your feelings, or a new friend, or your coworker, or your you know your son, your daughter, your your um, sister, your brother, uh, your niece, nephew. Somebody hurt you. Somebody little hurts. They don't know anything about it because you didn't say it, but you're keeping it there. You're keeping it here. You're keeping it here. Okay? So it's too much going on at once for colds and upper respiratory illness. Um, mental confusion. You know, like, what am I supposed to do in this world? What, what's going on in this life? Does anybody like me? Do I like me? <laughs> Should I just keep my mouth shut and not talk? Um, would people miss me if I'm gone? Okay. So mental confusion, disorder, small hurts. I get three colds each winter type of belief. Okay. This is interesting. I, f I did this before I got sick. I wrote these affirmations out before I got sick. I also wrote affirmations out about cancer. Okay. Your girl is on the chop. All right. I'm not just doing murder cases. I'm not just doing child, child finding cases. I am sincerely on the job. Okay. For namaste. Um, for getting you guys to be namaste about yourself right now as you are. You don't have to improve on anything except loving yourself. And therefore, 
you will extend that love out to others. But first you have to work with yourself, just like Jenny Rivera. She tried to kill herself a couple times, okay? And through her whole turmoil in her life, what she found out, the secret to life was, I got to start with me. I got to love this body, whatever shape it is. I got to love, it doesn't mean you, you, you know, don't try to improve it. No, try to improve it. Try to feed yourself the right way. Try to give yourself credit for things. Try to um, exercise, but also exercise your body, but exercise your heart. Okay. So, too much going on at once. Mental confusion, disorders, small hurts. I get three colds each winter type of belief. Now, don't even think that. So, in other words, what they're saying is, this is from Louise Hay, by the way. Sorry about that. I didn't give you, sorry, Louise Hay, I didn't give you the plug. I'm all, all trained through Louise Hay, okay? That's how I got my, I started my color, color um, healing. It was through Louise Hay, okay? 19, I started reading her book, 1985. Yeah, 1985, working at, Montessori School in Staten Island, New York on Forest Street, right across from Forest, um, Silver Lake Park. Anyhow, that's another story. Okay. Um, anyhow, so what she's saying is you get a lot of colds and upper respiratory illnesses and you think I'm a, I'm a three, I just get colds or flus three times a year type of person. No. You shouldn't get them, okay? <laughs> but if you get them, okay, I have it right now. But it's clear. It's not no infection, but it's clear. But I'm saying what's going on, right? Is it going to stop me? No. But if I do need rest, I'm going to listen to my body, okay? Um, so um, what you're supposed to say is the affirmation for colds and upper respiratory illnesses is I allow my mind to relax and be at peace. Oh, please. When do I get to? No. So what I do is, you know, this mind, um, it's always busy. Sometimes it's busy beating myself up. Sometimes it's busy being critical of others. Sometimes it's busy being envious that somebody has a microphone or sub more subs than me. And then when I tell myself, calm down, I put on Jason Stevenson or some other um, music that I love that's healing for the chakras, okay? Sometimes it's just five minutes of it. Sometimes it's uh, three hours, okay? And then I feel better, all right? Sometimes I just have to paint and listen to nothing or listen to my YouTube as I'm painting. That's relaxing for me, okay? Sometimes it's drinking a cup of tea or coffee or wine with Netflix and a candle. Okay? Sometimes it's talking on the phone to my friends or my family. All right? So whatever relaxation of your mind means to you, you have to do it. Okay? So too much going on at once, mental confusion, disorder, small hurts. I get three colds each winter type of belief. So we say, I allow my mind to relax and be at peace. I allow my mind to relax and be at peace. I allow my mind to relax and be at peace. Clarity and harmony are within me and around me. Clarity and harmony are within me and around me. All is well. Feel it. Don't just say it. It takes a while to absorb it. Clarity is how we see things, okay? So my problem today was, oh, am I going to get an apartment or a she shed? Will I be able to afford it? Is this stupid? This is a crazy idea. Um, and then all of a sudden, it was like, stop, after I said my prayer to my mother and father and my spirit guides, and they said, don't worry about the details, okay? We'll, we'll take care of that if, you, if you're supposed to have it, okay? Even if I'm not supposed to have it, they're going to, 
maybe give me the energy to clean up my space and I'll just clean up the table again and it'll get messed up in a few days, but whatever. Um, that's what the, if that's what they guide me to do, that's what they guide me to do. But in other words, they took the burden off of me because I would have went down the rabbit hole of, oh my gosh, this is what I got to do now. I got, I got to look, I got to call up these people. I got to try to get on a uh, neighborhood watch and, and see if anybody wants to rent me their shed. You know, like it was, it's crazy. It, I can go, I can go down that rabbit hole every day in every way. But I just, I, I said to my God, I said to my guides, I said to God, I said to my, um, my parents, please help me with this. I don't want to want that if that's not the right thing. You know what the right thing is from up from heaven. And you can see what I need to do in order to feel peace at my work and feel like I'm promoting my business or should I just forget about that business or like, what should I do? Just go keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, don't look for a new space. Like, and then all of a sudden I felt peaceful. Like we're going to take care of that. Kathleen, Katrina, we're going to take care of that. Okay. So don't worry about it. And I felt better. Okay. I, and I went back outside to tell Devin, I said, maybe it's crazy. You know, and he's like, anything you want to do, babe, I'm behind you. And I was like, really? That's so nice. And he goes, he goes, no, whatever makes you happy makes me happy. And if you want to, you know, uh, look for an apartment and we'll, we'll make it happen. And I was like, oh, I don't know about that. Like, uh, you know, like I would have to sell, I would have to, you know, sell um, more artwork each week or every two weeks and, and, and do more readings like paid readings. And I was like, I don't, not that many people are trying to get a reading off of me. And he was like, don't even worry about that. And I said, I forgot, you know, I already get, I get, um, I work. Okay. <laughs> Trust me, I work. But, um, I, I also collect a pension from my job in New York you know, cause I was a teacher for 17 years. So I collect a pension. It's not a big pension. Um, it's a small pension, but it's not a teeny weeny pension. So I said, you know, I wouldn't even have to tap into that. I could just work more days in the school system. And he goes, don't worry about it. He goes, he goes, let's just take it one step at a time. Almost like my guides say. So I said, okay, all right. And, and I made a few more phone calls and, you know, a couple, one, one more thing, one apartment might work out, but, um, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Okay. So I just want to say again, I allow my mind to relax and be at peace, clarity and harmony are within me. So the answers that we need are within us. Okay. They are. Even though we might not know, like sometimes I don't know the word I'm thinking about and it's frustrating, but I know it's in there somewhere. It might come up later when I'm half asleep. Okay. Um, so clarity and harmony are within me and around me all as well. Within me and around me. Visualize it. Okay, I'm just going to do one more because keeping with influenza and a sore throat. Okay, uh, influenza is a response to mass negativity and beliefs, fear, belief in statistics. Okay, I definitely can feel that. I could. All right, so a response to mass negativity. So what influenza is when you have like pneumonia, a heaviness in the chest, okay, bronchitis. All right, so uh, it's a response to mass negativity and beliefs, fear, belief in statistics. And what you're supposed to say is, I am beyond group beliefs or the calendar. Yeah, don't don't worry about the calendar. Like, I, I, I 
have trouble with this. I'm always saying, oh, how come I don't have, you know, at least 5,000 subs by now? Everybody has like 20,000 or 15,000 or 12,000. And they started after me. And I, I, I have a couple of friends that tell me it's quality, Katrina, not quantity. Um, and it's a hard lesson to learn um, because you feel like, hey, I put in my, I put, I did my, you know, due diligence. I put in my time. I deserve, you know, A, B, a, B or Z. Um, anyway, it's a hard thing to learn. But when you're thinking, when you're having fear and beliefs and statistics, it's not good. So you say, I am beyond group beliefs. So you're independent of the opinions of others. I'm independent of the good opinions of others, and I'm independent of the bad opinions of others. Okay? So if, like, we don't stay connected to the compliment, we don't have to, you know, um, sit there on pins and needles waiting for somebody to compliment you and compliment your work if you know that what kind of person you are inside. You don't have to ha hear it every minute from the outside. It's nice to hear it, but you can't, you got to be independent from it. The good, if you're independent from the good opinions of others, that means the compliments, um, that means the support, the love, then you're independent from the bad opinions because there can always be that other, you know, that other side that comes. All right. So I am beyond group beliefs or the calendar. I am free from all congestion and influence. I need that. I'm breathing better now though lately. It's just I sound nasal. I am beyond group beliefs or the calendar. I am free from all congestion and influence. Sore throat. It means holding in. This is going to be Metaphysically, spiritually, what it means is when you have sore throats, and I tend to have sore throats all the time because, and I always thought it's because of my um, condition with my Hashimoto, okay, which is an immune disorder. Holding in angry words, oh, feeling unable to express the self. Yeah, I feel it. Holding in sore throat, holding in angry words. And feeling unable to express themselves. Now, I went through a blue phase, and a blue phase is like um, Pablo Picasso um, when he was depressed and down. He went through his blue phase, which I love. I'm so attracted to that color blue. And I know people think, oh, well, you love purple. No, I also love uh, blue or indigo. Um, and so, um, I remember doing so many paintings, and I still do to this day, that were um, a phase of blue. Like they were either midnight blue or they were powder blue or they, last night I did a powder blue for Devin. Um, they were uh, a heather blue or they were a willow uh, blue, um, all different kinds of blues. And then what I realized was I was working on my throat chakra. Okay, I was helping healing my thyroid. That was probably, you know, I never had to get my thyroid taken out. Um, and when I got all those tests done last May, um, they said, uh, no, your thyroid isn't, so it doesn't have any tumors on it. It has a couple of lymph nodes that are like nodules in there, but naughty nymph, lymph nodes, which I never found out what that meant. But um, they said, you're, your whole thyroid is really small. That's what we found out about you. <laughs> I was like, I thought it was too big. I thought I have the goida Gary over here. And they were like, oh, no, that's just fat. I was like, oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> Anyhow, what my point being is when I was doing all that blue uh, canvases, you know, a lot of stuff I didn't sell. I still have to this day. And... What I realized is I was working on my thyroid. That's why color therapy works because your body will call to it. What You'll resonate. Like when I show you my painting, sometimes I just say, I just want you to say, you know, you don't have to buy anything. Okay. I'm not like that. You don't have to buy one thing, one friggin' thing. But 
what you have to do is what you not would be nice for you to do is let me know what what painting what colors resonated with you what were you attracted to and I'll just tell you what that means okay um, you know based on the chakra and uh, and that and that's good then because then you could bring that color into your wardrobe then you could go to the store Michaels and buy a thing of paint that you're attracted to and just sit there and throw it on a canvas and go back and forth with it you know buy a little tiny canvas and and do that you know if you want to save money um, you can get a stack full of canvases uh, for ten dollars um, but or you can get the flat canvas boards or you could just you know get crayons and and do some crayon work it works um, but just bring in that color into your world uh, will help heal a chakra that's calling out for it all right so for sore throat holding in angry words all right so what you're supposed to do is uh, you should curse okay <laughs> um, but if you find that you're cursing too much and uh, see it's not good to repress the, the body does not like you to repress things all right if you get it out like a, a fire sign a Leo a Sagittarius um, Aries they get it out every once in a while and then you feel better okay so um, holding on in angry words feeling unable to express the self and now what you're supposed to say is I release all restrictions I am free to be me I release all restrictions I am free to be me I release all restrictions I am free to be me are you free to be you? What are restrictions? What are the restrictions in your life? What are the restrictions that you're thinking of? Okay. When is the, one of these videos going to end? Okay. <laughs> okay. I create peacefulness in my mind and body. And my and body reflects this. I create peacefulness in my mind. And in my mind and my body reflects this. Oh, no, there's something wrong with that grammar. Okay, I am the power and authority in my world. I am at peace. I am the power and authority in my world. I am at peace. I am the power and authority in my world. I am at peace. I am filled with life and energy and the joy of living. I am filled with life and energy and the joy of living. Okay, we're going to end on that note. The next time, we're going to talk about depression and cancer. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's important, though. Okay. Even if the affirmations, like, you're not getting them right away, like, you're not absorbing them, I don't expect you to. But listen to me again, or just put it on when you're going to sleep, and somehow you'll absorb it more. The whole thing with repetition, with affirmations, you can't just like have them in your folder that I give you and then just put put them away. No, I always tell you, write them out in your journal. Sometimes I give you a journal um, or just get your notebook, write it out on paper, whatever you like writing it out on. And then you're looking at it or you're reading mine and saying it out loud or you're just writing um, because there's a very strong connection with the brain um, and the hand, uh, meaning that, um, yeah, people, you know, type things in to the cows come home, right? Old fashioned statement. Uh, but that connection with the body and the mind, um, is not made unless you write, unless you paint, unless you do something with your hand that your mind is telling you to do. Okay. Now I'm going to go cause I look like my bags are getting bigger and bigger. They'll be ready to pack for, for New York again. Okay, that didn't make sense. All right. I love everybody. Have a night. Namaste on a Monday. Hey, it wasn't Manic Monday today. Or was it? Okay. Love to see you guys. Thank you, Forever Bella Butterfly, Jackie Kennedy. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much, Flyer B, for everything. And also for, for Casper's toy. And guess what he was doing today he still plays with the original rainbow that you gave him even though he took out that the squeaky thing in it and it's just like a flat fabric 
he he went under the table because Nana takes it, and he took it and brought it over to his blanket, and he's playing with it and sniffing it. So, anyway, thank you for everything that you gave me. Thank you, Gigi. Um, I love you all. Namaste.